The Bureau of Sages is a research advisory board made up of older adult members living in nursing homes and living at home who come together with researchers and clinicians to learn from one another and to give voice to the direction, design, and implementation of research on aging. The Bureau members have written their own mission, which is to empower nursing home members and stay-at-home older adults to learn and collaborate with researchers to advocate for timely, useful studies that matter to them. Ultimately, their vision is improved lives for older adults as the result of patient-centered research. The Bureau of Sages was funded and as an engagement award through the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute. During our funding period, we have learned how to work together to help build the voice of older adults living in nursing homes and living at home into national research on aging. We hope that this model is replicated across the country and more nursing home residents and older adults living in their homes have the opportunity to contribute to the research agenda. The Bureau of Sages is probably one of the most important projects I've been a part of for the past few years. It really puts the nursing home resident and participants of the Virtual Senior Center in the driver's seat in terms of research, and really for too long, these two groups have been dismissed in terms of thinking that they actually couldn't have anything to say about the research process. What's wonderful about this program is it really makes them the sages. They are the one who actually tell us what is important about research, why we should do research, what questions we really should be asking, and as important, also gets them educated about the research process. I love it as a researcher because for the first time, I actually have insights from populations who have never been asked before. And I think not only are they sages, but this has also empowered them tremendously. Understanding how the research process works has been enlightening and meaningful to me. I never realized the multiple steps involved in reaching a conclusion. I was amazed to learn that research is not simply saying, I have an idea. Rather, I've learned there are many steps and much collaborative work is involved. I've been impressed and pleased by the one-on-one -on -one conversations I've had directly with researchers. When I first joined the Bureau, I didn't think I could offer much. However, the free exchange of ideas between the professionals and older adults has challenged me to think otherwise. I've enjoyed participating in the Bureau because it takes me out of myself when I respond to the researchers' queries. I feel that the work we've completed, like homework, assignments, and meetings with researchers, has enabled me to help researchers better clarify their thoughts and assumptions. The researchers are full of questions and I, along with the rest of the Bureau, have helped them rethink how questions are asked or how to go about gathering data to answer them for research purposes. I've enjoyed working with researchers and being part of the Bureau has helped give me a sense of purpose and belonging. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to discuss the Bureau of Sages and why it's so valuable. What the Bureau of Sages has created is really quite impressive. It's among the first in the field to actively seek the opinions and wisdom of older adult residents on research about them. As a result of participating in the Bureau of Sages discussions, I've become more thoughtful about what they experience while participating in research and their reactions to conversations with their doctors. They can provide so much to research design, including providing a list of benefits they experienced but were not assessed, how they feel and where they were, how they were treated, and how to improve their communication. The lessons learned from the participating sages should be shared with other older researchers. I would encourage other researchers and clinicians to replicate the Bureau of Sages and contribute to the dialogue for themselves. Well, I have thoroughly enjoyed being part of this and hope to continue with it really because one, 
our little group have given me an opportunity to learn how people one-on-one, -on -one, meaning the four of us, uh, have dealt with things. And I have also enjoyed very, very much our, uh, our interrelationship with the people who are the professionals in our group of the Bureau of Sages, that they are interested, that they care, and what they have expressed us. I have learned a whole lot. I have been thrilled to uh, have the opportunity to express to my own professional medical people support in the medical field about this program and how eager they are to learn about what we're doing. They have expressed interest in um, what is going on and what we hope to attain and how we feel. This whole thing has given me the opportunity to kind of rethink what my expectations are, how realistic they are or non-realistic they are. And the fact that we get a chance to think about our situation in terms of each other and in terms of the global environment, meaning the professionals, the support staff, the helpers, the home aides, uh, this has just been very eye-opening for me, extremely so, and I'm very, very grateful for all of this. Participating in the Bureau has opened a whole new world for me. Not only have I made a ton of new friends, but I've also learned a lot about the field of research. I never would have discovered this if I'd stayed in my room. Most importantly, participating in the Bureau makes me feel needed. It gives me hope that even though we're starting as a tiny little molehill, my input and feedback through the Bureau might turn into a mountain and change things. I've gained the understanding that researchers, physicians, caregivers, and patients are intertwined. It's not just one person or one type of professional who can create meaningful patient-centered research. Everyone is part of the network. Uh, I have a new doctor now and I've shared it with him. And the great interest in it seems to be, it's like it, it was a, a, a void. And that pleases me that I'm a part of it. Plus, just the learning of so much new stuff. I think that there are many, many other people out there like me who could benefit from it, who are not necessarily going to go and access a video or a reading material. But in talking with the group, you become a, a, a group that is, is replicated week after week. You become comfortable with that group and you can share your thoughts and accept the information that's there better. You can accept viewpoints, uh, uh, different viewpoints better, and that's important. I think the Bureau is going to change the way researchers do business. I believe researchers' attitudes about the input older adults living in nursing homes can offer will change. They'll no longer see us as simply old people, but as old and able to contribute. We have a lot of wisdom and insight we can share. Research can then move forward to make a more meaningful impact on the lives of older adults. Creating the bureaus in other nursing homes can impact the lives of their residents. As a result of research, significant policy or practical patient-centered changes may, might be implemented. Nursing homes might also benefit from a bureau because it allows older adults to be engaged socially and cognitively, often using skills that are underutilized in a typical nursing home environment. It is a wonderful project, this PCORI project, that really engages people in a meaningful way in regards to research. It's done an incredible job of teaching the participants about research and about how to give input into research that professionals do. For example, I was able to present my work to the Bureau of Sages and they gave me wonderful advice about how to do my project better. So I went to Thank the Bureau of Sages for all that it does and 
hope it continues to do this wonderful work.